Car dealers are facing huge financial woes right now. You heard me right. Car dealers are facing significant financial challenges right now for a variety of reasons. And these reasons are creating an environment where buyers, if you do indeed need a car, can often find good deals. Today, we will discuss seven factors influencing dealer pricing in the days ahead. Yes, you heard me right. It doesn't matter how high the prices a dealer may have posted For a given vehicle that you want, the strategy is finding a dealer who is hurting a bit more than others and needs to move the inventory. That's where you find the amazing deals. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy. This is exactly the strategy our hassle-free car buying service coaches are using right now. You're not likely to hear a show like this from any other car buying advice channel on YouTube. Why? Because they either haven't been paying attention or they don't have their finger on the pulse of what's happening in this country right now like we do. Quite frankly, I hope to be wrong, but I don't think I am. Here to talk about these challenges with me is the amazing Elizabeth. Why all this uncertainty? With all of the pending political changes coming in the aftermath of significant government spending that took place over the last few years, the American dollar is sitting in the darkest cloud of uncertainty we have seen in our lifetime. Absolutely. Here are some of the other key financial factors affecting dealers and how these factors could benefit consumers. Number one, excess inventory. During the recent supply chain disruptions, car dealers faced inventory shortages, leading to high prices on both new and used vehicles. However, as supply chain issues eased, car manufacturers ramped up production to make up for the lost sales, resulting in an oversupply of cars on dealer lots. Huge oversupply. Right, and that remains to be true. Now, many dealers have excess inventory, especially of certain models that aren't selling very quickly. Holding onto unsold cars ties up capital, and dealers must pay storage and financing costs for these vehicles. To clear out these cars, they often offer heavy discounts, meaning we are squarely in a buyer's market. Number two, high interest rates. The long-term effects of higher interest rates are being felt hard right now, making it increasingly challenging and expensive for dealers to finance their inventories and for customers to secure car loans. Dealers rely on short-term loans known as floor plan financing to maintain inventory on their lots. When interest rates are high, these costs are going through the roof. To move inventory quickly and avoid rising financing costs, dealers often reduce prices even significantly. They offer better trade-in values or they create special financing deals, all of which translates into big savings for buyers. That's right. Number three, declining demand. High inflation and economic uncertainty have affected consumer spending, leading to reduced demand for new and used cars. When demand drops, dealers need to lower prices or at least negotiate much lower than they have been to incentivize buyers, creating better deals and promotions for you. And right now, you need the best deal you can get your hands on. Additionally, with higher interest rates, monthly car payments are less affordable for some consumers, also contributing to lowered sales. This puts more pressure on dealers to negotiate and offer favorable terms to close their sales. To the point Liz is making here, right now you need the best possible deal you can get your hands on, and using our hassle-free car buying service is the best guarantee you can have of doing exactly that. Visit our website at thehomeworkguy.com and read all about it if you need a car. We have the best return on the cost of our services in the entire industry. Key factor number four, used car market correction. Over the past couple of years, used car prices spiked significantly, partially due to new car shortages, high demand, and reduced number of used cars available. Now used car prices are normalizing, and dealers are finding it harder to sell their used inventory at a profit. And by the way, our hassle-free car buying service works just as good for a used car as it does for a new car. Right now, many dealers are offering markdowns on used vehicles to move them quickly before further depreciation occurs. This creates a good opportunity for buyers to find good deals, especially on slightly used or even those CPO cars or certified pre-owned vehicles. We don't much recommend those, by the way. Factor number five, manufacturer incentives and rebates. To help dealers move their excess inventory, car manufacturers are offering more incentives and rebates right now. These can include cashback offers, reduced financing rates, and special leasing deals. Economic conditions push dealers to pass these savings directly to the buyer, allowing them to purchase or lease new cars at more attractive rates. Why are rebates at their highest this time of year? Car manufacturers and dealers aim to hit their annual sales targets, 
by the end of the year. To ensure they meet these goals, manufacturers offer significant rebates and incentives to boost sales volume. These targets are critical for dealers and can determine their bonuses, pricing, and allocations of new vehicles for the coming model year. They want to clear inventory quickly and maximize sales numbers before the year's end, making rebates much more generous, encouraging buyers to make purchases before January rolls along. Factor number six, end of year and quarter pushes. We just talked on this a little bit. Dealerships often need to meet their monthly, quarterly, and yearly sales goals to secure bonuses and incentives from the manufacturers for themselves. As the end of these periods approach, they become more willing to negotiate on price to hit these target goals. The combination of these goals push the current market conditions even harder, which means that dealers are offering more aggressive deals than usual, especially on vehicles that have been sitting on their lots for a while. And factor number seven, pressure from direct sales models. Brands like Tesla, Rivian, and Lucid, as well as some traditional automakers, are adopting direct-to-consumer sales models that bypass traditional dealerships. These models tend to offer transparent pricing and streamlined purchasing processes, making it harder for traditional dealerships to compete. To retain customers, many dealers are offering better deals and more flexible financing or trade-in options, which can benefit buyers looking for good values. In summary, the combination of excess inventory, rising financing costs, a market correction in used cars, manufacturer incentives, and competitive pressure means car dealers are motivated to make sales quickly. This often results in better prices, lower financing rates, and more incentives for buyers looking to purchase a car right now. By the way, as we've stated in other shows, our hassle-free car buying service is the only car buying service that saves you the hassle of going in alone with a dealer finance officer. In any market, that's huge. Also, when you hire us, either me or Elizabeth will personally take every intake call. You get to talk directly to us. We don't have layers of bureaucracy between our viewers and us, and we like it that way. A huge difference in our car buying service compared to others is that we are the only truly customer-focused service provider that you can find. We will never go behind your back to a dealer we did a car deal with to see if they want to join a dealer referral network, something other car buying services are doing right now, and I think you know who. We never want to be anything like a Costco auto program with a lame dealer referral network. We know those always fail. Thanks to all of you out there in the audience for coming back. We greatly appreciate your loyalty And if you want our direct help in your next car deal, text Liz today at 701-441-3399. In closing, I want to take a moment to talk to those of you who just want to get the most out of your current or future vehicle. That's super cool with us. You can learn what's a good, reliable, new, or used car to buy in the first place, or you can get advice on best maintenance practices for your vehicle. To do all of that, we have an in-house automotive expert on board with us. You've seen him on our shows recently. He is exceptionally talented and will help you get the most out of your current or future car. His name is Alex Stevens. He's a former race team mechanic who has built a ton of different cars from the ground up. He has numerous automotive connections and knows so many great people in the mechanical field. He can get to the bottom of any mechanical problem car related. If you've been having an ongoing problem with your current vehicle, you need to talk to Alex. You'll be amazed at what he knows about your car without seeing it. Just go to our website and click on the pull-down menu and find Ask the Auto Expert. Alex Stevens is available at a low introductory price, and he's beyond knowledgeable and talented. As you've already seen, we have shows featuring Alex. He will continue to give his take on cars to avoid and why, and if you own one of those bad cars, how to care for it so it doesn't leave you stranded. If you buy the call with Alex, I promise you'll be delighted to talk to him. Either me or Liz will connect you to Alex. To all of our longtime subscribers out there, You guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, home of the only totally hassle-free car buying service, signing off on behalf of the amazing Elizabeth and the entire homework guy team. Thanks for listening.